Hi, this is Kannababu. This is part 18 of the Travel Biz project. Right. So, in the last class, we are discussing about um, here, when user clicks on update button, it has to display the DID and D name in the text boxes. Right. So, here I will try to within the row command event. Right. So, here whenever user clicks on update button, then uh, I want to catch the row index. So, we already know how to catch the row index. And here I will try to write the code. Grid view row, row is equals to grid view 1 dot rows of row index. So, within this particular row, I want to catch the label controls. Is it clear? So, here you can go to the source code. And within the source code, your uh, uh, DID is available in label 1 and D name is available in label 2. So, I need to catch both the controls. For that, here I will write the code. So, here you can see. Already in the previous uh, uh, if part, we catched the DID and uh, now I will try to set the values. Right. Similarly, I want to catch the um, D name also. So, here label uh, L is equals label of row dot find control of label 2. And here I want to set the value obj bo dot d name is equals to here I'll give the object name as l1 l1 dot text and these two values I want to display in the next form. So how to maintain the values from one form to another form? We can use either cookies or sessions, state management techniques. I hope that you have some basic knowledge on state management techniques. Now I want to use sessions here. So, what is the syntax to store the value in the session? Session of variable name. My variable name I will give as DID is equals to uh, L dot text or uh, here I will give, okay, L dot text I will give. And similarly, here I will declare session of D name is equals to L1 dot text. L1 dot text. Now, here I will build the solution. So, here I will go to the update dpoints.aspx uh, and within this I will write the code within the page load. So, right click and here I will write the code. If is post back is equals to false, then I want to display the value in text box 1. Text box 1 dot text is equals to session of did dot to string. And similarly, here text box 2 dot text is equals to session of D name dot to string. Is it clear? So, let us say, so debug and check the output here. So, first initial admin will log in with his username and password admin and admin. And uh, here admin will view the destination points. See here, when user clicks on update button, then row command event will fire. And uh, here we are catching the row index and catch the values that are available within the label here the DID is DID underscore 1 and uh, D name and we are storing both the values in sessions and uh, then automatically response to the of update D points and in the next page page load event will fire and display the DID in text box 1 and text box 2 here you can see the output is it clear? here you say when uh, admin clicks on Rajamandri it will display DID underscore 3 and Rajamandri Similarly, Tuni, DID underscore 4 and Tuni. Now, we cannot edit the DID. So, I will make this property read only is equals to true. So, with an update D points dot ASPX for the text box one, there is a property called read only. By default, it is false. I make as true. True means we cannot edit the text box at runtime. Now, when user clicks on update button, I want to update the record. For that, initially we need to create the stored procedure. So, here I will create the stored procedure. Create procedure procedure name. PROC underscore update destination. I am passing two parameters at the rate DID D name. Update table name. Destination set column name is equal to value. Set D name is equal to at the rate D name where DID is equal to at the rate DID. Press F5. Now, here I will go to the data access layer and within the data access layer, I will generate the code. So, here I will declare one region. The name of the region is update destination. And uh, 
and for this here within this region i declared one method and the, in, i have passed the obj bio as an input parameter create the connection open the connection pass the procedure mention that we are working with stored procedure and uh, pass the values did and dname because i want to update the uh, data based on did is it clear now build build the solution right now here i will go to the business logic layer and within the business logic layer i have to declare one more method so here you can check this is my business logic layer so here i will declare one region hash region and uh, i declared one method for this method i am passing the input parameters so obj bio here business logic layer will interact with what data access layer and uh, now i'll go to the presentation layer so here i'll go to the update dpoints.aspx and double click on update button and write the code here i will try to declare the namespace using business logic layer using business logic layer and using business objects is it clear within the button click i'll create an object for business objects dot business objects obj bo is equals to new business objects of obj bo dot uh, did is equals to uh, so here i set the values for did and dname now i'm creating an object for business logic layer uh, is equals to obj bll is equals to new business logic layer of now here i'm calling the method update destination of and i'm passing obj bo if the record is updated successfully it will return one so if i is equals to one display the message saying that updated here you can see debug check the out so here i have given the did underscore one as hyd now once go to the login and uh, login with admin and admin will add the destination points view the destination points so here you see hyd click on update so here it is hyd i want to update hyd to hyderabad you cannot modify this did because we set the read only as to click on update button then automatically button one underscore click will fire here the presentation layer is interacting with business logic layer now business logic layer will interact with what data access layer and data access layer will interact with the database and if the record is updated successfully it will return one here you see i is one and uh, again uh, data access layer will again send back the response to business logic layer business logic layer will again send back the response to presentation layer so record is updated is it clear you got one message go to the database and check whether the record is updated or not i hope you understood so in this manner you can work with update button and when user clicks on cancel button you have to clear the values so here you can uh, double click on cancel button and here we can simply write the code so here i will write text box one dot text is equals to empty similarly text box two dot text is equals to empty I want to clear the text boxes so here when user clicks on update button it will display here when you click on cancel button it will clear the values now admin will add the bus destination points so here i will try to go to the project add new item select web form with masterpiece the name i will give here as add bus destination points dot aspx click on add button okay button so here i will try to design the page so here my design will look like this select bus and select destination point so actually in part 14 we discussed about admin will add the bus pickup points the similar screen here we are designing now now admin will add the bus destination points for more clarity you can watch part 14 of our trial bus project so here within the master page i will select the lips button edit menu items select uh, add bus destination navigate url and here i will select uh, add bus destination dot bus destination points dot aspx okay okay now i want to display the uh, service number along with from place along with to place within the drop down list one already we have written that code in data access layer we have one method called bind service number now i want to consume this method is it clear and that is uh, available in business logic layer also we have one method called bind service number 
here you see somewhere it is there and uh, here i'm i'm calling this method and now i want to call the same method in the um this uh, add bus destination points dot aspect so right click view code so here i'll declare one method uh, the name of the method is uh, bind sv number now create an object for business logic layer call the bind service number objbll dot store the result of the method in data reader if the dr dot has rows then read the data and store dr of zero means what is the uh, procedure here we have written so here you see this is the query we have written select a sv number from place to place from bus so here the result of the query will be stored in data reader and dr of zero represents the sv number value and uh, dr of one represents the from place dr of two two place and we are concatenating this and i want to call this bind sv number method within the page load so here i will write if is post back is equals to false then i want to call the method bind service number once debug and check the output so here admin will add the bus destination points so here you see so i want to do a small modification within the add bus destination points dot aspx i'll remove the drop down list to in place of drop down list to i will try to uh, place one grid view control because i want to display all the destination points destination names within the grid view control so initially i will set the property auto generate columns is equals to false and i will select the list button edit columns and here i will add two bound fields select the bound field one header text i'll give did and bound field two header text i'll give d name select bound field one data field i'll give as did select bound field two data field i'll give as d name i think we discussed the same screen in our view destination points click and convert to template field click on okay but i don't want to display the dids so i will uh, select did and visible is equals to what false i will give so it will not display the dids i want to display only d names right now uh, uh, within the uh, c sharp code i will declare one method which was already declared within the view bus so here uh, we have view destination points dot aspx uh, within this uh, we, we we have written some code that is fill d points i will simply call this method here i will write one more method that is fill d points and here i will use using business logic layer okay i hope you understood and here i will call fill d points once debug and check the output so here press f5 and check the output and i want to enable paging for the grid view control here select grid view control allow paging is equals to true page size i'll give as 5 and this is your grid view now select the grid view control events double click on page index changing event and write the code so here you see grid view under page index is equal to c dot new page index and fill d points so here i will select the grid view control ellipse button edit columns and here i will add one checkbox field and here i will send click convert and click on okay so here once debug and check the output so i want to display the checkbox within the grid view control now for example if the admin wants to add the destination points for the bus which is traveling from hyderabad to vizag he will select hyderabad vizag vijayawada rajamandri thuni and uh, annavaram as well as vizag now when he click on add button it has to insert all the values along with service number and did in bus destination table i hope you understood we'll see that screen in the next video thank you have a nice day